It was so nice to just be in a place where everything is like about being happy is kind of the number one priority and eating is is the other number one priority so I guess they're both number one. Every time you eat it's like a big event where you sit down and you really think about it and you enjoy it and you talk to people and you take a nap. When I cook these recipes I'm like totally connected with her. You know it's it's um, in her childhood, in my childhood, <laughs> in her kitchen, you know, living all this experience. Every year I take out the recipe and it's like Ma's corned beef, you know, my grandmother. And she has like funny little references and you know, she talks about the cabbage, cabbage the size of a toddler's head. And I'm like, oh my god, I can't believe it. This one is I will never like part with that. So. <laughs> um, my mom died when I was young. I was 15 when she died, and I, I go right back to everything that I remember my mom cooking for Thanksgiving. Doesn't matter how many calories it is. I meet at my sisters with all of our kids and our grandchildren, and, but we have to have specific things. It has to be that stuffing, it has to be creamed onions, it has to be cranberry relish, it has to be all those things because that's what connects us back to our parents. I still can picture her making that stuffing. Stuff. It is a big connection. Food, I think, is one of the best connections we have to our, to our family and heritage. Yes. When I saw the orange trees, I just was like, oh, I just couldn't, it was like, it was like seeing Santa Claus smell that as soon as you cut the rind, the oil from the orange, it, you know, kind of sprays off a little and it just goes right into your nose. It's, it's almost as powerful as a cup of coffee. The, there's three oranges because <laughs> this one's like, you know, it's like Italy, Spain, and California are the three places that I've traveled to that I love the most. And they all are places where orange trees grow. So it makes me really happy when I think of orange trees and when I see them. And so that's why I got that. Katie knows that I love orange trees. Um, I'm crazy about them. So you can just picture it, right? It's like, whoop, <laughs> someday. Every year I grow collard greens. And so I cut them, I bring them in here, and I chop them up real fine. And then we, before we do that, I put some smoked turkey in the pot. My, my thing about cooking oil is to, to, to use the cooking oil that has been used either from chicken or from frying chicken or something like that. And you add it to the collard greens and you let them steam, simmer. And this is the end result of the collard greens. That's what you get right there. Going past food also makes me think of my grandma when we make stuff because going past food was pretty much the recipe that I started learning. You put in whole kernel corn, creamy style corn, cre sour cream, butter, eggs, and Jiffy Mix. So Rose made her, you know, this goat cheese. It was like homemade goat cheese from a goat that she was milking in the neighborhood. So the first one came out, it was like a little liquidy. The first one was, was good. I had beginner's luck with the first one. It was the second one that was bad. I thought the second one was amazing. You don't have the right memory. Yeah. All right. Well, whatever. The one that was like, had a, more of a consistency, I liked. Mm -hmm. How is that going? Is it on? Yeah, it's really low now. Mm -hmm. It's just simmering. Oh, okay. Normally, ideally, you almost want to let it simmer like all day, but because it, it just, it only gets then it'll, it'll mellow out the acidity from the wine and the tomatoes, but it's okay. It still tastes good. You can just like put it in a crock pot or put it on low, but our oven, oven. It's our stove's kind of... Alright, oh, this, this is, is the, the test. test. This is the Ooh. test to see if it works. Katie, does everybody want sauce? Yeah. yeah. It smells so good. It's all I want in life. Oh, that sauce. If you get the bay leaf, don't eat it. <laughs> it kills you. It will kill you.
by the frozen chopped collard greens. <laughs> oh. Have you guys seen Samba before? Yeah. I work out too many. It's okay, I need to keep going. <laughs> I'm not gonna make as good as my dad, but I'm gonna try. Uh, so you're gonna roll it up like a cigar. Cut. Oh yes. yeah. my goodness. Oh, as you possibly can. That's much finer than I've ever cut anything. You always had to help with dinner. Um and uh, so that's how, I mean, that's how I learned to cook, just growing up. My mom's really good at making stuff up, and my dad was really good at trying new recipes. My mother grew up with a Sicilian grandmother who was, like, cranky and really provided probably, like, a lot of comedy for her teenage years. But she learned, you know, she learned how to, my mom learned how to make a lot of cool things from uh, Grandma Giovanna. In my family, you show love by feeding people lots of things that are bad for them. <laughs> Rise for a little bit. Got all the oven heats up. See, when I was trying to do this the other night, I did, I did not That's do that. That's because I let the dough overrise. That was, I should have, you should have called me. I know. I was only I know. Because okay. it wasn't your right. fault, it was the dough. <laughs> it was the dough. We'll let him hang out for a few minutes. It's like the sprinkles of Italian food. That sauce smells so good. <laughs> Does it smell good? I put a little extra wine. I'm sure that's no problem. It's not good for my homework. No, it's, it's not. For my tummy. Get drunk on the sauce. Get <laughs> sauce on the sauce? <laughs> it means a lot to me to be able to feed people. I like to care for people. It's a really active way of caring about somebody, I think. And uh, especially... Especially when you don't have a lot of time together. Like coming home from work and not, uh, um, you know, only having an hour and a half or two hours before the baby goes to bed or whatever. Привет. Привет. How are you? Uh, we're preparing for the Festival of Nations. We're taking part in this festival and uh, represent Russia on the Festival of Nations in Albany at the Paris State Plaza. And we are going to sell this Russian uh, tea cookie at the festival. Tonight we are going to make pumpkin bread to give to the food pantry, so we're baking for other people. So we have to make 12 loaves of pumpkin bread tonight. This is Rebecca, I'm 10, and um, I'm in Pioneer Girls. Pioneer Girls is a group that my church does, and it allows kids to do fun stuff like making crafts, um, playing and reading new things and choosing items. But you kind of have to live your no life knowing. You at least don't have, no, have to know how to cook something because then you'd have to kind of rely on other people to cook for you. And sometimes it actually is better if you um, like work on making something than buying something. Summer's hot. Yeah. Well, that's the economy is bad. Some people may not have, but you know what? I'm going to come down if I have to carry a meal, if I have to do this. I'm going to do whatever I need to do to make it a blessing for somebody else in the city of Troy. And that's the joy when you watch people come to you, no matter who they are. They come in and say, you know what, I just want to help. And that's where you find the God in all of us. And somehow it shines at these particular times. And you, I saw it this morning. If I never ever do anything in life for them, I thank God for this opportunity to serve his people. And I never see another Thanksgiving. I am so grateful for this one.
you know what? Okay. Yeah, people get behind it. Yeah. Get them all back behind it. So it's not just even about food. It's about Yay! human contact and sharing what we have and sharing ourselves. there to take care of one another um, and we, we prefer to do it in the city where we live because these are our neighbors and we're among this community. This meal means like Pastor Willie said that someone out there is thinking about them, someone in this city cares um, and, I, and I think it shows, it shows a little bit of love.